Hey, what's up guys, Tony here. Sorry it's been a while, I know, but as you can see, maybe you can't, but anyway, I'm moving, so everything is kind of a mess right now. Uh, a lot of my guitars are gone, a lot of my gear is gone, my studio is, you know, all down right now. But, uh, something super cool happened, and I had the opportunity to have a guitar for a few weeks at home. And I think it's one of the coolest guitars that I ever had the opportunity to play for a while, you know, because when you go to a shop, it's not the same. You can play maybe a 50s Les Paul or something, but in an amp that is not yours, you cannot, you know, it's not your perfect environment to say it like that. But as you can see, I still have my aux right there and I have a Freakman head, uh, a B100 Deluxe Specs uh, right there, modded. It was a B100, but they've modded for me. So kind of a uh, Deluxe Specs and I have this guitar with me. So we have here a 1952 to 1958 or 59 conversion. That's totally up to you, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'm going to do a few close-ups for you so you can see the guitar close. When he found this guitar a few years ago, it was already uh, with no paint, no bars. It was a mess. So it was a nice opportunity to do, let's say, a conversion project. So you want to fix the guitar so you can maybe change the color, um, to in this case a burst color and usually when you find a 1950s gold top sometimes with paint off or sometimes with with the paint but usually uh it, it has a two-piece maple top off center so that means usually uh, you can see two parts but they are not um the two parts are not centered like here so you have maybe one part here and then uh, the, the another the another part so it's not beautiful if you want to do a burst so he was lucky enough that it was in the center right on nice top it's a plain top so that's why we call it 58 conversion instead of a 59 because it will be more maybe quilled or flame this this has a nice a nice figured maple top but you know um has a neck repair that you can see right now grover tuners uh, Tom Barlett did uh, put a new, um, because in 1952 some of the guitars has no uh, serial number so it has a cool serial number that it writes 9 because a uh, conversion of 59 in this case and 1952 so because it's uh, how the guitar started his life. Um, Roger Daggett PAFs, uh, so these are um, French uh, replicas I guess, um, very cool, sounds very nice, very Thin sounding in a good way, uh, very trebly. I think this guitar is it's it's one of the coolest I ever played. So even if my house is a mess right now, I think it will be cool for you to at least you know hear some some clips of me playing it. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys hope you like this video uh, as you can see in 1950s it will be super cool to compare this one with my with my other Les Pauls but my other Les Pauls are not here anymore so maybe next time who knows but yeah if you like the video please subscribe enjoy and um, I will see you soon keep rocking